welcome to Disney Meg's Coloring. If you're new here, my name is Megan and I'm so excited to be here with you today. So for today's video is my ABC color along. I do an ABC color challenge every month um, and I choose a letter. The letter for the month of February is L. And so far we have colored a page where the item on the page starts with the letter L. Last week the title of the book started with the L and this week is the illustrator's name starts with an L. So this is Hannah Lynn. The book I'm using is Sweet and Simple Whimsy Girl. If you wanna color with me on any Hannah Lynn page, you're more than welcome, but I'd also love for you to join me if you have this book. And this is the Cowardly Lion page. So lion is with an L too. I am going to be using alcohol markers and I am straight coloring. I'm not gonna do really any thing big. I'm just going to straight color because otherwise this video would be really long because I would be, yeah, portraits take me a long time. So uh, the color I'm using for skin, Soft Sun E160. Happy Thursday, everybody. I hope everyone is having a wonderful Thursday. Um, I'm filming this ahead of time, so really it's not Thursday for me. Um, I even ha haven't even had Valentine's Day yet, but I hope you all had a good Valentine's Day. Um, today where I live in the U.S. was the Super Bowl. So, and it's my dad's birthday, and he turned the big 70 today. So, these weren't really his teams, so he was oh, so we went to dinner, thinking the restaurant would be less crowded because it's Super Bowl, because, you know, people stay home and have parties and whatnot. Oh, no, it was still way busy. So we were wrong. We went to a restaurant. We went to a Texas Roadhouse, which is one of my favorites. Um, let me know in the comments below what some of your guys' favorite restaurants are. I would love to hear what your favorite restaurants are. Some of my favorite restaurants are, um, if you've heard of them, <laughs> I like Outback. It's one of my absolute favorites. Texas Roadhouse. We have, um, I like Brazilian steakhouses. Um, Texas de Brazil is my favorite one. If you don't know, I'm a meat and potatoes girl. Big time. You give me a steak and a baked potato and I am happy. I'm not really into the sweets. I know, really weird, huh? I'm not a fan of chocolate. That always shocks people. I would rather have a good meal than a dessert. Most people would rather have a dessert than a meal. Well, I'm the opposite. I'd rather have food. So yeah, so most of my favorite places are steakhouses. But, um... I'm going to come back to the hair because, yeah, I'm not really sure. I have three colors that I picked. I'm not sure how I'm going to go about it just yet. I think I'm going to only use two of the colors. Um, I'm going to do the yellow brick road first. So I have two yellows. I have Y070 acid yellow and Y2 sunflower yellow. So I'm gonna color the bricks first with the darker yellow and then go around the bricks with the lighter yellow. I'm gonna start at the top here. I'm gonna do all these. I tried to look for more like golden yellow colors. So we're follow the yellow brick road. Anybody a Wizard of Oz fan? I am, I love Wizard of Oz. Watched it lots and lots and lots of times. 
I like Judy Garland. Um, one of my other favorite movies that she's in is Meet Me in St. Louis. I love that one. That's a good one. Yes. Has anybody seen the new Wizard of Oz? The newer version? No, it's not new. It's still 80s. Or Yeah. The Return to Oz, that one was scary. But I liked that one too. But it wasn't a musical, so that was sad. No singing. I like the musicals. Yes, I do very much. Uh, so I was talking about Super Bowl. I was talking about that. Oh, so we got, went restaurants. Yes, that's right. So I was telling you some of my favorite restaurants. I said Outback, um, te Texas de Brazil, Texas Roadhouse. Um, there's an Italian place here that I really like. It's called Forgotti's. It's a local restaurant. And then I have a, a local Mexican food restaurant I like. As far as Asian food goes, I'm not the biggest Asian food fan, but I do like tapanyaki, um, Japanese. The one where they cook in front of you, it's like a shell. I do like that food. A lot. And we have a couple of those here. Um, but yeah. What are some of your guys' favorite restaurants? Oh, there's trees in the background. I didn't see those. I'm trying to figure it out. What is what? I'm having a really hard time. Like, what is this? I'm guessing it's her other hand. Or her paw. But I'm making it her hand. I'm guessing this right here. Yes. I like the thick lines. But. It's like, not clear what's what. Oh, and oh, he's holding its tail. Got that. So I have three different browns. I'm gonna show you. I am on this. What I, I thought, these three would be good together. I liked those ones together. So I think I'm gonna do. I don't know. Now I'm I'm rethinking here. <laughs> Those two would be good right there. So hold on one quick second. And I'm going to grab some more colors. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back. Move this out of the way. I chose, so I think for the hair, I'm going to do leather and dark brown. And then for the outfit, I'm going to do this Chamois E240. So I'm going to try the outfit first. And the tail. Yes. So um, after we went to dinner, we went back to his my dad's house and um, had cake. And sang to him. Um, Texas Roadhouse doesn't sing. They make you sit on a saddle and say yeehaw. So, um, yeah, my dad is not about to sit on any saddle and say yeehaw. So we didn't do that. We had cake and we watched the last, I'd say, hour of the Super Bowl. 
we had other family come too. It was fun. Yeah, that was my Super Bowl Sunday. See, like, what is this? Is this more of her tail? I'm gonna color it like it is. She's got a really long tail. If you've watched this movie, what is your favorite part of the movie? I think my favorite part is when they're very first go into the Emerald City with the horse of many colors and they're doing their hair and they're shining their I like that part that's one of my favorite parts Oh, I, I didn't say this in my last two videos. I meant to say this. Um, it has come to my attention that the music I was having behind me talking was too loud. So I do apologize for that. <clears throat> I will be working on that. thinking like she has like a like it's her dress like I should finish it and then do the paw prints a different color so I will be working on that um I probably will not be having music in the background if I'm talking I'll only have it on if I'm not talking um and then I just got on there today um, for my fellow YouTubers out there. What, where do you get your music? I just have been using the YouTube music, but as of today, it's not the same. It has changed. Now they're requiring you to pay for a license or something like that. I don't know. There's free ones, ones that are like zero dollars and ones that don't need licensing and then there's yeah so it's called create music or something like that they totally changed it i don't like it when they do that I finally learn how to use something and then they change it so i'm gonna have to play with it to figure it out i don't know has it have any of you guys seen that but yeah why do they have to change things? Why oh, why oh, why oh. So a dark brown here. We're gonna do the belt. And then the paw prints. So, yeah, sorry I'm not talking. I really have no life, so not much to talk about. I know, which stinks. So, here's a preview of what I'm going to do with the hair. I'm going to do the tail.
there's like a little spot right here. I'm not sure what that is. it you guys like it it's so much fun <sighs> so now so I'm just gonna do every other hair kind of hard because like some of these connect yeah it's like I don't really know it's a guessing game So it goes right here. I don't know what I'm doing. I guess if I have a two next to each other, it's, it's really okay. Though my OCD is screaming, no, it's not. It's not okay. Stop. It has to be perfect. Yes, that's how I live. That's my life. <sighs> Look at I went over the lines. Whoops. Her hair is really big. It's like everywhere. But I guess a lion's hair is like that. I guess. What is this thing right here? I'm, I'm assuming it's hair. Just a piece of hair that got out of place. I don't really know. So what else have I been up to? Let me think. I got sick. Yes, I got a lovely tummy bug. It actually was quite interesting. I don't know if I sh should share TMI. <laughs> well, not. I won't tell you details. I was watching. Um, I watch my cousin's baby three days a week, so I'm kind of like a kind of nannying. So I had the baby and she sits in one of those, um, I forget what they're called, those bumbo seats or whatever, those chairs that help you to sit, help babies to sit, sit up by themselves. Anyway, it has a, you know, it has a seat belt and it has a tray for so you can feed them. And that's what I have at my house to feed her with. And I was getting ready to feed her. So I sit that on my kitchen counter. You know, I don't leave her unattended. And um, I feed her. Well, my stomach started giving me troubles. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to run. I can't leave her on the counter. So I picked her up in the chair. Which was funny. And I put her on the, the chair on the floor thinking okay you know she'll be fine on the floor 
Oh, no. She starts throwing and feeding her puffs. If you don't know what those are, they're like dissolve in your mouth baby treats. <laughs> That's what I like to call them. Kind of like dog treats, but for babies. Anyway, she starts throwing them on the floor and then picking them up off the floor because she can reach over the sides and putting them in her mouth. And I'm like, oh, I can't do that. No. So I'm trying to hold myself together. And figure out what am I going to do if I need to run. So I start calling people. So, um, while people were figuring out, you know, arrangements of who's coming to get who and whatnot and all that, um, I called my dad, um, so he could come in case I had to run and could watch her because she's just crawling and pulling up on things and, I can't just leave her unattended. And I'm, you know, I've never been a mom, so I don't know. Moms are probably now on here laughing at me like, oh my goodness, you could have, you know, you just bring her in the bathroom with you. She's not going to know what you're doing. <laughs> but yeah, so all of you moms out there, what would you have done? I mean, somebody finally did come and get her. And my dad actually got there before anybody, so I was okay. But, um, yeah, what would you have done if you couldn't get a hold of anybody? And, yeah. Question. So that was my adventure for this week. If that was TMI, I'm so sorry. In case you don't know what TMI is, that's too much information. But that only lasted about 24 hours. So I was glad that was fast. Um, I slept it off. I slept for a long, like two days. Yeah, my stomach still doesn't feel like normal, but... I don't feel sick. Anyway. I don't want to talk about all my ailments on here. So that took up most of my week weekend. Does this happen Thursday? Oh, she has an ear over here. I don't see an ear over here. Since I colored it, I don't, I don't see an ear, but there's an ear. And it, that. And my lighter color. So we know the difference between the hair and the ear. Now we're going to go in with dark brown and all the white of the hair is going to be dark brown. I noticed that when I color on here, I'm watching myself, that I cover it up with my hand. I don't know how to color without my hand being in the way. So, I don't know if that bothers you guys. Also, oh, yes, you guys have had Valentine's Day. Did anybody do anything fun? I don't think I'm doing anything. Sleeping in. My husband's not the most on the uh, best in the romance department. So I highly doubt I'm lucky if I get a card sometimes. He's not the best present giver. If he watches this, sorry, I don't mean it mean. But yeah. 
like at Christmas time, I have to make him a specific Christmas list, wish list on Amazon. And I give him a big list so I won't know exactly what he's getting. So he has choices. But like to find something on his own? Mm, nope. And yeah, and if he could have his way, we wouldn't do gifts at all. But I, I, I don't allow that. I like to give gifts. And it's fun to get gifts in return. But I'm a gift giver. And I like to watch people's reaction to my what I choose and all that. But, um... Yeah. She's turning out very cute. Very lioness. The cowardly lion part, um... The if I were king of the forest, I think that part is too long. And kind of boring. You know, it was the way of doing an intermission without having an intermission kind of like so I can change the set to the the scary forest and the witch's castle and all that Speaking of stomachs, it's my tummy is talking to me and I am not hungry. My husband made, my husband cooks by the way, we both do, but he's the main cook in the house. I'm learning. Like he does, all, of course he does all the barbecuing and what not. Anyway, he made chicken curry and rice last night. It was good. A little, a little, it had a little bit of spice to it, but I can handle it and I'm a big chicken. And he does this little cucumber salad thing that you put on top. It was good. But I got, yeah, it didn't like me. I like woke up in the middle of the night with major heartburn. And I don't go right to bed after, I, I try to stay up so that I don't get indigestion or heartburn. And it's not good for you to eat and go to bed. So, yeah. So I've had all kinds of issues this weekend. I've been kind of emotional. But what's new? I know you guys don't know me very well, but I'm a very emotional person. Always have been. Um, I actually take something to help me be less emotional. And it does work. But yeah, I don't know why, but I'm having, um, I'm really missing my mom for some reason right now. But I'm going tomorrow 
Then I'm going to spend the whole day with my grandma. I'm excited. Um, we haven't done that since I moved back. And it's... I'm excited. Okay, I'm going to take this light, really light color, this uh, deep cream. And I'm going to like do the outline of the fluff like this. Just outline the fluff. Because I kind of want to leave it. Or should I color it cream? I might color it. I think I like it. Cream. So this one is Deep Cream Y230. do have a color so no worries I have a color to add here I have blue for the sky and her eyes and then I have a red I chose for her lips and for her bows because he wears a red bow I did look at Cowardly Lion up on Pinterest if you ever need some inspiration on your coloring pages Pinterest is a great place I'm not sponsored to air anything by Pinterest but they are a great place to get inspiration yes it's one of my favorite places I'm gonna switch nibs here to where we can have a bigger there we go but yeah I said this in my last video so hopefully I remembered to put it in there but it should be in my description box below I do have a Pinterest if you want to follow me. Um, yes, I do. It has lots of stuff on it, though. Yeah, it's been, I've had it for years. So... there. I like it. Now we're going to do our blue and the blue I chose is aquamarine. You never know what to do right here. There we go. Because I know you're supposed to leave... Well, that's what I think. I forgot to do the light yellow. You guys didn't tell me. I never finished my yellow brick road. Whoops. Finish the blue. It's a pretty blue. Oh, I missed a piece of hair. I think that's hair. Could be tree. Not really sure. <laughs> that's distract. I keep wanting to color that up there. But that is her bow. So I did a getting to know me tag, um, which will be coming out. I was tagged by Amanda Colors. She created it. And um, it'll be coming. You'll see that one before this one. That'll be Tuesday's video. And I mentioned. Oh, I finished the picture and I, I, I got glitter on it. It looks much better than it did. And I did straight color on that one too, so sorry if this is like too much just straight coloring and not enough exploring or whatever. 
but yeah I'm uh I don't want the videos to be too long see it's this is it called coral red coral pink R1 I don't know it kind of looks neon-y on this page next to all this it's not what it looked like in my swatch chart oops oh well maybe it'll dry sometimes they dry and then they look different when they dry She's beautiful. Now we need this. What is this? Shallow orange cafe. Like a caramely color. Or should I do this? Hmm. I'm going to use this. This is. Bottle of Courage. And then it needs... Um, it needs like a... We'll use this. This is a gray. Neutral gray, too. Like the bottle has a little bit of color to it. And then we need our dark brown for the, whoops, wrong side, for the little rope here. And then, I have to think about the tag. I'm going to use my lighter yellow, my acid yellow. I'll finish my yellow brick road. I can't believe I forgot it. Follow the yellow brick road. I do like the munchkins too. I like the lullaby league. We represent the lullaby league. Um, Wizard of Oz are my favorite uh, slot machines. I really like the Wizard of Oz slot machines and the um, Willy Wonka. Oh, there's a good question for you. Which is your favorite? Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory or Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Willy Wonka is the original. And Charlie is the Don Johnny Depp version. Hmm. I like them both for different reasons. Um, I'm a huge Johnny Depp fan. And I think he did a really good Willy Wonka. But the old one, it's just a classic. But it sure makes you want to go and to a candy factory. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking about Wizard, uh, Willy Wonka. Coloring Wizard of Oz talking about Willy Wonka. I grew up watching movies. Um, like I said in my movie collection video, which if you haven't watched is in my organization playlist under how I organize my movies. Um, my dad is huge movie collector, and so we have grown up watching many movies. This was is one of his favorites, so we watched this one a lot. Oh, I missed fr fur. How dare I? We're almost done. Um, we're going to be 
less than an hour. I'm gonna use this uh, deep teak for the trees. It's a different brown. It's like a yellowy brown. Um, I said this in my last one too, but, um, so you guys know, I love getting comments, even just a hello, just so that I <laughs> know you're there. I'm not just, yeah, makes my day when I get comments. It really does. I think that's hair. We're gonna do some leather right here. All right, let's see. How about this courage sign needs like oh that too. We're going to make um we're going to make the cork red. It's a red cork. It was painted. You know, you never know. It's a special bottle. And then maybe we'll just outline it in red. These bleed so they'll just whoosh, into the center get bigger. at it it's so fun all right I'm gonna get some um let's see nope that one hasn't been used one that's been open ha ah. so this is the clear glaze jelly roll glaze get it going here okay why aren't we working there we go. All right, we're working. And we're going to glaze uh, some of these spots. And then they'll look kind of shiny like it's a glass bottle. I didn't do that part either. Oh, I did. It's gray. did that. I'm going to make her eyes sparkle. I have my black, uh, my favorite black glitter pen, which is the Link Shine. And I am going to color her eyes. Look at she's so pretty. Then we're gonna use my white gel my white gel pen here. I have a sicker no, I don't. Uniball signal. And we're gonna give this like a line, like it looks like glass. Like so. We are going to Highlight her bows. Help me change pink because that's what gel pens do on red. Some on her lip. On her bow up here. Do one on her tail. I'm going to do a little mark on all of the paws on her, her little outfit. When that glitter dries, I'm going to do another dot. Do one up here on her ear. She's looking good. I don't know where else to put it. But I'm seeing all this white right here. We're going to take our dark brown. 
and get rid of all this white. Peeking through, I think it's her eyelashes. Oh, are we going to put in our hidden Mickey? Let's put our hidden Mickey. Hmm, I think I'm going to use my black glitter pen. And we're going to do it on her skirt. So it looks like it's a part of her skirt. My oh, can you guys not even see that? Huh? I'm sorry, I think you could, but there she is. I don't know if these are nope, oh, they're not dry all the way. I need to, um. I don't remember what color I used on the dress. I think it's this one. Because there's a white spot right here. It's beautiful. I hope you all colored with me. Um, I am going to grab what we will be coloring next week. I will be right back. Hold on just one second. Okay. I'm back. I'm going to move her aside. So for next week, we are going to color out uh, 50 prehistoric miniatures. If those of you have got it, this is her Camellia Angelcoa's newest book. I'm doing this book because I remembered his name. The dinosaur from Land Before Time's name was Littlefoot. And here he is. So we, I am going to look up Littlefoot, Littlefoot, uh, Let, Land Before Time on my Pinterest to get some ideas. Because in the very first movie, he does have a mom. The mom does die in the movie and it's very sad. So I'm going to color this one um, for Littlefoot. So I hope you all, if you have this book, will join me. If not, pull out some of your coloring that you need to color or want to color and color with me. Don't forget, when you do color with me, I ask that you would send me, um, message me on Instagram or Facebook if you have either one of those. Or you can email it to me, um, the picture that you colored. I would love to see it. Um, love to know that people are coloring with me out there. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, I didn't bore you with my stories. <laughs> yes, I, always, I enjoy making these videos and talking with you all and I can't wait to talk to you all again soon. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you're notified when I post new videos and a thumbs up that you like it. I really, really appreciate it. And like I said before, I am looking forward to talking to you all soon. Bye!